courage to me is the ability to overcome fear. Woody didn't go on to Iwo Jima as a flamethrower. He went on as a, as a demolitions specialist. But when the other six were killed in the first three days, Woody didn't have any choice, I'm sure, in his own mind. He, he knew he, he had to do what he had to do. So the men around him, I'm sure, when they saw Woody step up and, and put, put that first flamethrower on his back, um, thought, that's a Marine, that's a hero, that's a man with courage. I am anything but a hero. I, I really am not. I've never been able to explain adequately a hero. I have always advocated that the heroes are those who paid the final sacrifice with their life. Those are the true heroes. When they're away deployed, you're always worried about them. It was about 8.30 on that Monday night, September 26, 2005. And um, <clears throat> that, that's when we lost him. The whole family's affected, the brothers, the sisters, the cousins. That whole situation has changed forever. You don't get over it. You just find ways to cope. The objective of the Gold Star Family's Memorial Monuments is to, of course, honor and pay tribute to the Gold Star Families, to, to give them a place to go, to reflect, and know that we have not forgotten their heroes. I think that's one of the reasons we're such a supporter of Woody Williams, is that he realizes Losing someone in service to our country affects more than just the members. I mean, a lot of folks don't know what to say to a Gold Star family, someone that's lost a, uh, a son or daughter or aunt, uncle, grandparent in, in the military. A lot of folks don't know what to say, but um, Woody seems to find the courage to say whatever's needed to say then and there. It's not about Woody, it's about the Gold Star families. He wants every state to be proud of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and those survivors that they have somewhere they can go and remember the name of their, their loved one. We're doing something that has a meaning to a tremendous number of people who have never been recognized. Woody knowing that um, it, it had never been done, it needed to be done, and he felt like he had a platform to do it. And now to see all that coming to fruition and having now seven monuments in, in five states and 24 to 26 others that are being planned all across the country, it has re-energized him. Woody is a phenomenon. <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's wonderful. Wherever he goes, he commands. He commands an audience, and he's soft-spoken, as you know, but he's very articulate, he's caring. He's, he's, he's everyone's grandfather. He's my hero. These experiences with Gold Star families go all the way back to his childhood. I think it's his legacy. When we go to visit there, I have a feeling of pride, you know, that our, our sons are not being forgotten. Woody really, really deserves this Eagle Prayer Life Award. He really is committed to the foundation. His commitment all over this country, receiving this award will enable him to help achieve this dream he has. He has a vision and we are helping him carry that out to honor Gold Star families in all 50 states. I have said that I will attempt to attend every dedication of a monument. So far I've been able to meet that. It is 
very emotional. And I think a little bit amazing to them. Now they have something that represents the sacrifice of those families, which has never existed in our country before. This monument pays tribute and honors the families of those who sacrificed one or more of their loved ones in the armed forces of the United States for our freedom.